Hello and welcome back to another Sephora haul. Um, my name is Lizzie and thank you so much for stopping by and watching my videos. It means so much to me and if you checked out this video, I hope you checked out my other videos for um, the Sephora hauls and Ulta hauls that I posted. Um, and today is yet again another Sephora haul. Um, it should just be called Lizzie's Makeup Hauls, I really think so <laughs> because that just seems to be the theme of my videos right now. Um, but you know, I can't help it. I'm a makeup lover and I uh, just love anything beauty related. And with all the sales and good deals that are going on right now, I just have to take advantage. And um, I wasn't planning a uh, part three to my Sephora hauls for the VIB Rouge sale. I just thought it was those two weekends and that was it. But luckily Sephora listened to our prayers and went ahead and offered up the fourth weekend to everybody to shop the sale again. Um, so of course I had to take advantage and there was you know some more items that just released and that came out and that was on my wish list or that was marked down on sale so i just had to of course um shop that i wasn't planning to pick up too much but i did end up placing four orders um but you know a couple of them just had like one item in there in there so i don't really think that's too excessive um so let me just get into the haul and can I can't believe you know it's December already I'm filming a few videos um, all at once today so you'll see me in the same makeup same outfit I apologize but I'm just trying to you know get these videos out um, there there are more hauls so so there's uh, a few more coming today um, I'm gonna do uh, the Sephora haul here and then I have another Ulta order that I placed um, and then just some miscellaneous uh, items that I combined into one haul um, for a separate video so if you wanted to check those out go right ahead that would be uh, really appreciated and you know I hope you like watching these because I, I could watch makeup hauls all the time every day you know it's just like, I like to see what other people chose and ordered and why and, you know, if it worked out for them. And so I hope, you know, this will help you decide if you're looking for gifts or anything or just for yourself. Um, unfortunately, these are all for me. So, you know, uh, just a little self-gifting -gift here. Um, but let's get into my Sephora haul. So like I said, the fourth weekend, everybody got to shop again. So... You know, 20% off of makeup is a good deal, and a lot of items were already marked down, so that was an even better deal. So let's start here. Um, let's see, I have a box right next to me. So one of the first items I ordered was actually this um, Tom Ford uh, eyeshadow quad, one of his new eyeshadow quads that he released. Um, I got this actually during the third weekend when VIB members got to shop because, you know, we hadn't heard yet that the fourth weekend was going to be open to everybody. And these came out right after the Rouge sale ended. So I was so, you know, angry that they would release these right after the Rouge sale. But luckily I called customer service. I asked, hey, you know, I'm a VIB Rouge member, but this item was not available when I had my sale um, the previous weekend. Can I still get the discount? And they were very nice and accommodating and said, oh, as a one-time courtesy, we'll go ahead and, you know, give you the 20% off. And I was like, well, you know, it's not really fair since this item came out after my sale and it's open to, you know, VIB members to get it on discount. And they're like, yeah, but you got two weekends to shop. And it's like, yeah, well, it doesn't matter because, you know, still... I didn't get access to this item during my sale, so that's not the point. So he was very nice and let me get the discount. Little did I know I could have gotten it at the fourth weekend, but you know, I'm glad I got it anyway, just because if it sold out, I would have been really upset. Um, so this is the shade I chose. It's Photosynthesis, <laughs> Photosynthesex. Yeah, uh, you know, I don't really know why he named it that, but I just chose it because it has the pretty greens and you know, this little duochrome shade up here looks really pretty and nice so it's my first Tom Ford quad ever so I'm really excited to try it um he had a bunch of new uh palettes released I had my eye on pretty baby as well but that one actually did sell sell out so um you know I wasn't sure if I would get that anyway since they're so pricey but I'll save that for another time but I was so happy to get that and then um the fourth weekend yes when we heard that everybody could shop I was so excited. Um, I was planning, you know, to go to my brother's house in Indiana. So I actually had a couple of the orders shipped to Indiana just to make sure um, I would get them there and uh, have some new makeup to play with over there and um, check that out while uh, I was visiting for the week. So that was 
pretty funny. I had a couple of packages delivered to his house actually um, during my vacation. Okay, sorry. So another item I just decided to order was this new Sephora collection. Um, it's Beach Vibes Exfoliating Body Granita. So it sounds like it's just kind of a body exfoliator and it just looked, you know, nice and I hope it smells good. Let me see if I can open it. Yeah, it's not plastic or anything. Oh, it has this little thing on there. I can kind of smell through it. it. Smells nice. Yeah, a little beachy, a little tropical, fruity, sort of. So excited to try that. You know, the Sephora collection, like I said, is always affordable. So just figured I'd add that to my order. Um, okay, so I was so excited to get these um, on sale. I was going to get them with my Sephora gift card, but I figured I'll just save that gift card for another item or two and get these while they're on discount. And it's the Way um, perfume. So I had mentioned that in one of my other um, videos that I could not wait to try these because I love how their products smell and the fact that they made them into a perfume. Um, just was very excited. And so I blind bought them not knowing exactly what uh, they were going to smell like except aside from their products that they that I've used. This one is Rue Saint Honore. And it's kind of feminine, florally, light, powdery, not too powdery, but light florally scent. Mmm, that does smell pretty. Um, I don't know if they put the notes on here or not. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Violet, Gardenia, Ylang Ylang, and White Musk for a feminine floral fragrance. And that's exactly what it smells like. And then I had another, well, I actually have all the scents on my wish list, but um, I decided to order one more just because of the sale and get the scent Mercer Street. So I decided to go with this second scent here. Um, This one definitely smells a little bit more powdery than the Rue Saint Honore, but it is very soft and feminine as well. It's Italian lemon, Turkish rose, jasmine sambic, iris, lily, and white musk. So yes, I definitely smell the rose and the jasmine and a little bit of the white musk. So I got two new perfumes <laughs> um, in my collection. Uh, to go with the scent theme, I also picked up one of these Cole and Canary um, candles so this is a candle company i think in canada and um they just have really cute names for all of their scents so this one that i chose is top knots and tequila shots so um i just decided i wanted to try one of the candles and get it while it's on sale and discounted um and see how i like them and i guess um they have a wood burning wick some natural wood burning wick there and the packaging is so cute and pretty and the name and this really smells really good. So I really hope it, you know, throws a nice fragrance throughout the house and uh, lasts a long time. So I think the notes for this one was something like lime. Oh yeah, lime, agave, and hibiscus. So it's just like a fresh kind of citrusy scent um, with a slight floral hint to it. So I really actually enjoy this one a lot. So I really hope um, I like it when it's burning and Maybe I'll try some of the other scents because they just all sound really fun and playful with the names and try some more. So I knew I had to get this set here, um, even though I have tons of skincare. This is the Drunk Elephant. Uh, I don't even know what this set is called. Yeah. The Big Reveal. The game of hide and seek. I don't know. But anyway, when I saw this set um, after the first couple weekends of the VIB Rue sale and when I heard that we had the fourth weekend, I just could not wait to pick this up. Um, you know, it was a big ticket kind of item, but Drunk Elephant is so expensive. And this set itself was really worth it because the main reason I got it was because you get a full size of the Sakari baby facial and I had talked about how I have a mini size of that and I started using it a few weeks ago and I could not believe like how awesome it works and just helps with the texture on my face and makes my skin nice and smooth so when I saw that you could get this full size in this set for basically just a few dollars more and you get a bunch of other items as well I was just like 
with the 20% off, that's such a good deal. So I just had to jump on it. I was so glad it didn't sell out. Um, so not only do you get the full size, but you also get these um, mini sizes of these other Drunk Elephant products here. So they're all arranged there. You get the um, B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. So I actually have um, a mini size of this already from one of their previous sets. And of course you get another deluxe size of the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil because that goes with the Sucari Baby Facial. You just apply that after you do the baby facial. Um, you get a nice, ooh, I'm really stuck in there, a nice size um, Bestie Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. So this is just a cleanser to help remove makeup and impurities. And I have a full size of this actually. So just have a little sample size is always a plus. And this is a new item that I haven't tried yet from them. It's the Drunk Elephant Lip Balm. So that's um, a cute little mini there. Let me just open it here. It doesn't have a scent, so that's good. But, you know, a nice mini lip balm. You can't ever go wrong with that. But, yeah, the main reason for that is the full-size Sukari Baby Facial. And then for $8 more, you get all these minis. So with the 20% off. So that is a really nice set to check out if you're looking for a luxury gift for yourself or somebody else. Um, let's see, just a few more items. <laughs> um, so when I was browsing the site, I actually came across this that was on sale already. So it's the Stila um, Shimmer and Glow Little Trio Eyeshadow. So I have a ton of these in the full size. Um, sorry, a little bit there. <laughs> I have a full size. I have these in the full size and I just figured uh, this mini set was already discounted I think from $25 to $15 so an additional 20% off that and these were all um, three new shades that I actually don't have already in the full size so I figured that was just a good bargain. Um, so you get these three little minis there and they're the shimmer and glow not the glitter and glows and the Shades that you get in this set are Starlight, Kitten, and Vivid Smoky Quartz. So like I said, um, you know, I have a ton of these in the full size. So this mini set was just a great bargain being already discounted. And I think it sold out actually pretty fast online. Uh, another item that I actually had on my loves list and was just waiting for it to get marked down even more before buying um, was the Ciate glitter storm eyeshadow palette so this when i saw that it was marked down plus the discount i jumped on that right away how pretty is this packaging i just love that a lot of companies are doing this glitter kind of packaging moving around it reminds me of like high school <laughs> elementary school whatever um so yeah the packaging is just gorgeous and so much fun and so this was already discounted i oh, i want to say like 10 or $15 less than what it is. And then the discount on top of that. So of course I got this when it was on sale. And these shades, I mean, they're pretty neutral basic shades. Um, you know, some browns and mauves, but and a few glitters at the top there. But the packaging was like what made this purchase so exciting, <laughs> pretty much. So I jumped on that. Um, uh, this set here, I know I said I wasn't going to get any more lipsticks, but I had my eye on this. Well, actually, I had my eye on the full size of these lipsticks, the Shiseido, um, I think they're the matte formula. So I had my eye on a couple of these, yeah, modern matte powder lipsticks um, of the full size. But I was like, you know, you don't need any more lipsticks, Lizzie, um, especially a full size lipstick. But then I saw that they released this set where you get five minis, I believe, and they're all... Um, a range of colors and so I was like well it's a set it's a good deal to get yeah five different shades and they're all minis and you know I prefer mini lipsticks anyway because I have too many to even ever go through a full lipstick so and I had the shade that I really had my eye on which was this one here disrobed so it's a nice nude color so I just figured the set was worth it with the discount and actually this sold out pretty fast online too so you get disrobed, you get this pinky shade rose hip. So I can't wait to try this formula. Um, you get exotic red, it's kind of like a brick red color here, terracotta red. Um, this one is dark fantasy 
This is kind of like a brown red color. And the last one is Slingback. A very bright true red. So because, um, you know, the set was so affordable and you get a bunch of minis and it's a bunch of different colors, I thought that was just a good purchase. And that was basically the only lip product I bought anyway during this, this round of the sale. So that was, you know, I figured that was okay. I could go ahead and get it. <laughs> and last for the sale, last for the sale was the Becca Volcano Goddess palette. So I think there's... Um, makeup craze on Instagram. So she always says, you know, never to buy makeup that's just because it's on sale. She said, if you didn't want it full price, then you really don't want it and you're just wasting your money um, and you're just buying it just because it's on sale. So I kind of agree with her. I feel like that is good advice, but of course I never listened to that. <laughs> um, you know, I got this because I'm like, well, it's on sale. Yeah, I want it, of course. Why not get it, you know, discounted even though I didn't really want it when it was full price. But um, so when this uh, first released, I was just like so excited for it. I was like, that looks beautiful. The packaging is just so pretty and different and just attractive. Um, when I saw the shades, I was like, mm, yeah, I'm not really that excited. It's kind of just basic and neutral and um, let me wait and see what the reviews are and you know, it had mixed reviews and so I was just like, yeah, it's not worth it full price. Um, talked myself out of it. So these are the shades there. So, you know, nothing too exciting, but, um, <laughs> once I saw that it was discounted and on sale plus the discount, I was just like, Okay, get it. Now's the time to get it. <laughs> just do it. So I got it and, you know, I don't have any regrets. It was a really good discount from the original price. And, you know, I was thinking about it. And even though I talked myself out of it when it was full price, doesn't mean I still don't want it when it's, you know, half off. So I got it. <laughs> no judgment. Um, that was all that I got for the Sephora sale, the last sale of their, you know, insider, beauty insider uh, rewards. Um, of course, they have their $25 off coupon now that is going on. And I actually use mine for um, a giveaway that I'm doing with uh, another Instagram friend. Her name is um, Engineer in Makeup. Um, she's on Instagram. So we're doing a giveaway coming up for the holidays. So I use that coupon for an item for the giveaway that we're doing together. So you know, Sephora is never ending with their discounts, which is always a plus. So uh, see here. So this I didn't get during the sale. I got it after the sale had already ended, but I just wanted to show you here. Um, if you spent so much money, you got this deluxe size bag full of goodies, um, like really good deluxe size samples of like, you get the fresh sugar, uh, advanced therapy, lip balm, um, you get a Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. Sephora eye makeup remover, the Laneige um, water sleeping mask. So get a bunch of deluxe size samples, Sunday Riley Good Jeans. So um, I placed an order because Surat Beauty was all like half off. And if you don't know, Surat Beauty is a very luxury makeup brand. I've never really seen them on sale, so I don't know if Sephora is discontinuing the brand um, being sold from there. I'm not sure, but they make really stunning products. Um, I have a few of their eyeshadows, and so when I saw that all of their items were half off, I just had to place an order and get some more. Um, so I got that beauty sample bag. Um, so I placed an order for some eyeshadow singles. So these are four singles. You actually have to buy the palette separately. So the palettes themselves were on sale. Um, so I bought a couple of the palettes so I could put these shades in. So I got four singles there, mostly greens. Um, the only thing is I don't like that I can't see the name on them. So I got the shade Moss Envier Verdotre and Haute chocolate so yeah three greens and a dark brown <laughs> and then I made another palette as well so I got another little palette 
and I made it with two of their blushes. So I didn't have any of their blushes before. So you buy the blush pans separately and put them in the palette. And the two blush shades that I chose were La Vie and Rose and the other one Parfait. So I just couldn't pass up a good sale for Surat Beauty. They were all half off. Um, I think some of the shadows are still half off on their sale page, um, but they did, you know, sell out of a lot of the shades. But there's still like, I think maybe 10 or so shades that you could choose from to make your own palette. Unfortunately, I don't think the palettes were on sale anymore. I think I just saw the shades still on sale. Um, and a lot of the blushes already sold out as well. So I was lucky to get those two right away. So um, that was basically my Sephora haul, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know um, there's some more hauls to come. So if you do love watching them, please check out my other videos. And if you want to go back to my previous videos to see the Sephora haul part one and part two, um, you could check those out. But yes, um, 2019 needs to be a low buy year. I'm going to definitely try that. Um, right now, I'm kind of going a little crazy just with all the sales and the Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals. So, um, you know... I just can't refuse a sale. So uh, thank you. My name is Lizzie. Thanks for watching, you guys. And um, stay tuned for some more videos that I have upcoming. Thanks. Bye.